climate change and water shortages. Worldwide, the area of farmland per capita is shrinking. Fertile soil and water are becoming increasingly scarce. Agriculture uses 70% of our water reserves. All over the world, fresh water is running out. The country with the most limited water resources by far, Kuwait. Few places in the world are more hostile to life. The landscape is dominated by desert. Food is imported. And it's precisely here that a pioneering project is being initiated. Letters from Vertical Farms. Kuwait isn't exactly around the corner, and maybe it also isn't the best place to build a prototype, but the opportunity arose, and we managed to implement the project in the desert extremely quickly. In Kuwait, in Kuwait we've built the world's first fully automated vertical farm. My name is Dieter Gelowitz, and I work for the company Jung Heinrich as a senior project manager in warehouse technology and systems engineering. Highly automated warehouses, this is what I offer clients on behalf of Jung Heinrich. My name is Christian Schumi and I've been working in the sector for 20 years. Endeavour is an indoor vertical farming company. We have a unique technology to grow salad and leafy greens indoors. Well, in our opinion, indoor farming is the future because it simply has better tasting salad uh, and it has a couple of other advantages like less water consumption, no pesticides, uh, and production very close to the consumer, hyperlocal. It's a mechatronic challenge that we have to solve. Um, our farm is, has a very high level of automation. But even for qualified experts in the area of intralogistics, this is not a run-of-the-mill project. At Jung Heinrich, this was the first time we'd encountered a vertical farm. It represents an entirely different set of challenges in comparison with what we're used to doing. This project wasn't standard issue. It was an entirely novel development. The individual components are familiar, but the combination and the process of construction as well as the necessary software had to be developed from scratch. A tailored solution. This project requires millimeter accuracy. In a standard high bay warehouse, I have 15 to 20 millimeters of tolerance. And here, I have only 1 to 2 millimeters. And the result is convincing. With clinical precision, the benches are filled with seed and brought into the farm. The seeds germinate in darkness, shielded from all external influences. We have a seed bench, 5 meters wide, and we need special conveyor technology to transport it. We have to use special load-bearing machinery on our stacker cranes to insert this 5 meter wide bench at the right height. And just imagine, these benches are filled with water. If the load-bearing machinery is just a millimeter off horizontal, then the water sloshes over to one side. And this is the great challenge, building a farm in the middle of a desert, a farm which fulfills these almost clinical requirements. After just four days, the benches then enter the growing stage. In this 9-metre-high farm, more than 21 benches are given the light and the quantities of water they need. It couldn't be more efficient. The water which the plants then use enters a cycle and is constantly reused. This means that, in effect, no water is lost. 98% of the water goes into the plants. The vertical farm produces up to 550 kilograms of lettuce per day on an area of approximately 2,000 square meters. Harvesting takes place up to 18 times per year. Conventional farming would require 18 times as much land for the same amount of lettuce and 20 times as much water. But behind all this progress, there are also challenges, especially for engineers. 
Jetzt kam noch zusätzlich eine Besonderheit. Another special characteristic is that pests and diseases present a very difficult challenge for these facilities. Because of this, this farm needs to be kept closed constantly. To achieve this, the Jungheinrich team developed a special mechanism, a kind of curtain which only opens in the area where a bench must be moved. The advantage over a conventional door-based solution, the minimization of air circulation and fluctuations in temperature. If I can build a facility in Kuwait under these conditions and fulfilling these requirements, then I can build this facility anywhere in the world. At Jungheimlich, what's important to us is that we've made this plant scalable and that I can build a facility like this of any size at any location in the world. The savings in land and resources thus achieved are fundamental for the future of our food supply. Pesticides and fertilizers are not used. Vertical farming is Vertical farming means the greatest availability of food in the smallest space possible. And the quality is spectacular. Compared to traditional farming as we know it, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, is that we can grow 18 times a year indoors versus at best one or two times outdoors. We have zero pesticides, we use 90% less water, 60% less fertilizer, way less packaging as we are so close to the consumer in urban cities. Developing and implementing a new approach to sustainable agriculture. For the past 65 years, Jung Heinrich has always been an innovator. And with vertical farming, the company will be able to sustain this record for another 65 years.